Oh, hello folks, it's uh, Ken David Stewart uh, with you for a Thursday evening tonight. Uh, I know I've been doing a lot of videos lately, which probably means I'm uh, bored, lonely, or, or both. Uh, but don't, not to get alarmed or anything like that, I mean my, my wife's working the uh, evening shift tonight, but uh, she'll be home, uh, I don't know, around 9.30 or something like that. Uh, so, you know, I won't have that long to cope with my loneliness. Uh, and plus, I've got all of you out there, all three of you anyway, or how many watch my videos, besides myself. Uh, kind of a rough day today, actually. Uh, this something hasn't occurred to me in a long time, uh, I used to get really bad insomnia, but that was about 20 years ago. But uh, today, or I should say this morning, I was up about 2.30 in the morning, couldn't get back to sleep. That's not fun. Usually, usually my problem's the opposite, sleeping too much. But, uh, geez, to get up 2.30 in the morning and then you lie there and you roll around, you try and get back to sleep, but it's usually of no avail. So anyway, so uh, my wife also wasn't sleeping too well, so I think she got up about a half an hour uh, later, and we ended up watching uh, the Church Channel uh, on one of my, you know, satellite PC for TV. Uh, programs. Most people say they're a ripoff, but I kind of like mine. But anyway, uh, so we're watching the church channel, and uh, uh, you know, because uh, she did some growing up in Brazil there, uh, I showed her how to watch, uh, you know, it's called TV Hook, the you know, one of these PC TV for PC type disk softwares, anyway, that showed her uh, where you could get uh, Brazil on there too, uh, practically a lot of countries in the world actually, but I'm not going to sell you any software or anything today, so don't worry. Uh, okay, so what am I going to talk about tonight, like uh, the other nights I've been kind of, you know, like going through my, my video uh, collections and stuff like that and see what's what's good for a conversation starter. Anybody knows me, knows since I was, uh, but that's my dog barking in the background, one of them snuggles, uh, snarling for some reason, I don't know why, but uh, sometimes there's somebody at the door, sometimes there's there's not. Uh, but anyway, some guys have been working in front of our house there the uh, last couple of weeks there, so you know, the street's all kind of hacked up and things like that, and you have to park on the next street, and it's kind of a hassle. It was kind of more like our usual January uh, weather today in, in, in Winnipeg. In other words, it was cold, but it often gets a lot colder than uh, than this. Still didn't need, didn't need to plug in the car, but it was cold. Okay, enough of me. Let's talk about uh, something I've watched since I was 12 years old or 11 or whatever wrestling. Now, like I said, I was going through my uh, DVDs, and what did I come up with? Uh, I have a lot of wrestling DVDs, believe me. But anyway, there was one fictional version of wrestling. Uh, came out quite a while ago, but anyway, I've got the copy right here called The Wrestler. And for anyone who you know, likes wrestling or, is, you know, finds this form of uh, performance art interesting. This this is a movie you got to see, uh, The Wrestler with uh, Mickey Rourke. And in it, he plays the role of an aging wrestler, perhaps in his early 50s, who's long past uh, his prime. Uh... He was at one time in, in, the, <clears throat> in the big time, well-known wrestling superstar, 
and now has found himself uh, pretty beat up and broken wrestling in the independent circuits and still has some kind of hopes of perhaps making a comeback to the to the big time and it has some really really you know excellent portrayal of the world of, of wrestling especially on professional wrestling especially on the independent circuits uh, I think it's pretty pretty darn accurate uh, view of that but the movie is more than that it's more than just about wrestling uh, it's a it's about a man who's you know like I said in his early 50s and I'm quite a bit older than that now but anyway, I could kind of identify where, you know, you're you're struggling. You know, you're well past your prime, but you still have you know years where you have to work and stuff like that. And this is like the character Mickey Rourke is playing in in this movie. And the only thing he really knows how to do well is is professional wrestling. He loves professional uh, wrestling. So it's a great movie on professional wrestling. I think it's very, very uh, realistic. Really, uh, kind of tugs at the at the heartstrings. Uh, this movie was put out several years ago. In fact, if my memory serves me well at all, I think my wife and I saw three movies that day. Believe it or not, if I'm not mistaken, that day we saw the wrestler. Uh, a Beautiful Mind, which is another great movie, totally unrelated, uh, about a man who's math professor struggling with uh, schizophrenia, and of course the first uh, episode, The Fellowship of the Ring of the Lord of the Rings. So that was quite a movie marathon that day, several years ago. Anyway, what else? Well, I'm on on the topic of uh, of wrestling. Uh, one of my favorite all-time wrestlers, and I'll talk about his DVD too uh, today, is uh, Mick Foley. And I have something in common with Mick Foley. We're both overweight. But uh, he has been one of my favorite performers in, in professional uh, wrestling. He's done stunts that no one in the right mind would do. And has put his body and mind and in the way of injury and danger, I don't know how many times, and yet when you when you hear him talk, he sounds like quite a sane individual. So anyway, if you want to find out about, uh, I've got the hardcore edition here about Mick Foley, the professional wrestler. I've got Mick Foley, greatest hits and misses. See if I can get focused a bit better for you there, because I'm not very good at these uh, visual things. Or angles or things like that but anyway there you go there's a picture of Mick little awkward but there's uh, let's get closer now further away there's Mick Mick Foley hardcore edition uh, greatest hits and misses in which uh, Mick Foley does the commentary on uh, matches that he's hand picked which he believes are some of his greatest artistic performances and wrestling, of course, is performance art. I agree with them fully there. Uh, so you definitely get your bang for your buck with uh, with that if you're a wrestling fan uh, to it to any extent like that this type of performance art. Okay, I think I pretty well talked myself out for at least a few minutes anyway, and. Uh, you know, I heard tomorrow's going to be another cold day. Well, we'll just have to bear with that. Uh, the Winnipeg Jets are playing tonight. I'm going to watch the game on TV. And, uh, you know, I wish you all a good evening. And, uh, you know, have a good rest. Uh, have a good sleep. I hope I have a good sleep tonight. And it's Ken David Stewart signing out. <laughs>